Hi friends, welcome back to Excel Map. In this video session, we'll discuss about dynamic HLOOKUP. Already, we have seen what is HLOOKUP. And in this video, we'll discuss dynamic HLOOKUP. So first of all, just we'll take some data. First, we'll take names. Like I'm taking Venkaj, Srinivas, Swati, Anil. Next, we'll go for the months like January to December. Next, here I wanted to take some values. So, so those values just I want to take as a random numbers. So I don't want exact values. Then we'll go for a function called rand between is equal to rand between see here i'm taking 500 comma 1500 you can take any range of values but here i'm taking between 500 to 1500 so you will get a number in between 500 to 1500 now press enter you can select the values shift right arrow shift down arrow control plus d for fill down control plus or fill fill right otherwise you can drag by using mouse see Next, if you are doing any formula or anything, automatically all values are updating, changing continuously. It is refreshing. So I don't want to do like that. So select the range. Go to the copy. Now go to the paste. You can do paste values. Alt ESV. Control plus C for copy. Alt ESV for paste values. Now the formulas are removed behind the values. See, there are only values because we did paste values. Now, we'll apply the HLOOKUP for this data. Now, simply just write is equal to HLOOKUP. See here, lookup value. Just we are taking lookup value. Just you have to observe if it is VLOOKUP, just normally data is in vertical, column wise. But if it is HLOOKUP, horizontal, the data is row wise. Now, lookup value. See, just I want the value for the month of May or else for the month of June. For the month of June, I want the data of Swati. Now, just first, we'll select the cell. Otherwise, directly you can type June or else G-U-N without any spelling mistakes as a smaller capital. Then, comma, table array. First, we'll select this complete range as a table array, comma. Now, we'll go for row index number. See. 1, 2, 3, 4. The Swati name is in the 4th row. Just give the 4 and uh, you can give the range lookup as uh, exact match or as approximate match. I want exact match. You can give false. Otherwise, 0. See, normally here this is called row index number. In the VLOOKUP, just we have the column index number and in the HLOOKUP, we have the row index number because there is the data column wise vertically here the data row wise horizontally that's why i'm selecting this row index number as four because we need a fourth row data now you can press enter see just we got the data 573 we'll check it just we'll uh, decrease the width yeah see uh, in the month of june swati data is how much 573 Okay, till this there is no problem. In case if you are adding extra row to this data like this, just select it. Control plus shift plus. Otherwise, simply you can insert row. See here. For example, just we'll add another name. Like some name ABC values again random numbers 500 comma 1500 select this you can drag to the right control c alt esv see now what is the value of the swati is a 573 but we got the result double one seven zero because one two three four see fourth row is what srinivas so that's why just we got double one seven zero so in case if I'm adding or deleting rows automatically the data has to be updated. So that's why we'll go for dynamic that is called dynamic HLOOKUP. So here 
I'm introducing another function called match. So what is match? Finding the position, either row or column. See here, simply just will find the name of Swati, where it is exactly, it is in which row. Now, Swati, A5, otherwise you can type directly, Swati, lookup array in this range. But in case in the future, if you are adding extra row, so the reference will change. That's why we'll select complete column. A column A, comma 0, 0 is what? Exact. See, row number is what? 5. Swati is 5. In case if I'm deleting this, see the row number becomes 4. Automatically it is changing. See, this same formula will write inside this HLOOKUP in the place of row index number. See, remove the 4 and we'll write the formula match first lookup value some data like swati where it is in the a column comma zero is what for exact match then press enter see 573 now here i'm adding extra row see here automatically just we are getting that data exactly the name of the swati only we are getting this 573 if you are adding any other extra data also see it won't update because the row number is 6 automatically it was updated because just we used a function called match so it is finding the name swati where it is exactly in a which row so but here now i'm going to create drop down list that is by using data validation for example See, just here I'm taking name, name of the employee, next month, next sales. See, here we'll get the sales. First of all, just we'll create the drop down. Already we discussed, go to the data, data validation. Next, go to the allow, select list, go to the source. So, we need names. Select the names, otherwise simply you can select the complete column. Then, okay, see we got the names, employee names here. Now, same thing we'll do for months also. Alt, DL, data validation shortcut, select list, go to the source, select the months. Now you can say, okay. See here, we got the month also. Now, we'll apply this formula here as it is laid. So, just we created the drop down for the employee name as well as month also. Now, we'll write this uh, HLOOKUP formula here as it is, is equal to HLOOKUP first month. So, which month? You can select any month, comma, table array. See, we'll select complete this table, comma. Now, row index number. So, in the place of row index number, we'll go for match, then lookup value, name, so that name just we are looking where it is in this column, comma, zero, close. Then comma zero, otherwise you can write false also. Enter. See, just we got error like any are not available because in this drop down we didn't select anything. See, names, Venkaj, for the month of March. See, we got the result when cut March 4 8. But in case if it is a blank, selecting blank, just we got any not available. So the just will use another function called if error. If there is any error in the input or else in the formula, just simply I'm saying blank. Don't display anything, just blank. Enter. See, blank. Now here you can choose any name, for example. Here, just I'm selecting Srinivas, month, you can select any month like June, see, Srinivas, June, double one, seven zero, see here, we got double one, seven zero. So, like this, you can select any name and any month, we'll select here another name, Venkaj, and another month, September, see, Venkaj, September is how much? Double one, five six. See, we got exact data. See, like this, uh, we'll use uh, HLOOKUP in a dynamic way. So, normally in the starting, we used how to do HLOOKUP, and uh, inside the HLOOKUP, in the place of row index number, we used a match function to finding the names. Next, after that, just we created the drop down. 
then in the drop down names and months so for this name and for this month what is the sales exactly just we wrote some formula hlookup inside the hlookup match and along with the if error in case if it is any error we can display our own message our own error message so friends like this we'll use dynamic hlookup in the excel 2019